Dude, I, I hope you guys saw me wipe out. No. No. Oh my god. Bro, I'm not even human, dude. I am so bad. I am so bad at poker. Oh my god, dude. You have to understand that this guy loves, loves mashing pre and post. This is an absurd fucking flop. Oh, thank god he folded. Thank god. That was so dumb that it's just ace king three versus him. Thank god he just folds and this is no pain. Alright, we're doing pretty good now in this Colossus flight. I mean, at the moment it's winner take all. We need, uh, we need six, 17 runners. Battling to get in the money. I still have no bounties, but this is my second bullet, and the second bullet I read wasn't, like, a very profitable one. A lot of people had been eliminated already, but... I mean, this lineup is way too good. I was willing to punt. Gotta be willing to punt, you know? What's cool about this is, like, he will bluff things that I do fine against. Okay, two friends. I don't know, I don't really like big betting with red. I mean, it's gonna be wide enough for it's gonna be fine. And honestly, I could probably check back the river and still win, so I don't have to launch. That's a good river, straights get there. Made a flush. He leads. I don't know if I can click call in good conscience. I don't think I can. I'm gonna click raise. Let him know it sometimes got it, you know? I think I'm just gonna slam. Cause he's like super high VPIP and he might call call worse. But Steamboat Willy. Okay, yeah, he just calls. I mean, jamming versus 3x is fine, anyways. He's got tens. We need a king or a queen dealer. I need nine of spades. Okay, king on the river. That's what we want to see. King on the river. That's bad. But that's okay. Alright, so we raised his limp, flopped a king. We're not just gonna blanket C bet like a turd. We're gonna check back sometimes. All right, he bets pot. You just, you know, you didn't check back a king to then fold. As long as it's not a club rip. As long as it's not a club rip. As long as it's not a club. Okay, well, I mean, obviously that saved us money, but funny way to lose that one. Uh, I'm gonna click call, and if it goes jam or rejam, we're gonna be playing for almost all the chips in the tournament. Oh, baby. That's a dream spot. I think we just want to induce as wide of a decision from our opponents as possible. So we're just going to go smaller. Steamboat Willie with the call. I would assume his... His um, two pairs would check raise flop. So if he had king 8 or king 10, we probably would have found out or 10-8. He will make some two pairs here on the turn. He will have 7, 8, and queen 9. Probably more queen 9 of, like, green or red. That is an interesting river. I mean, he's not going to donk jam a 9, but he might donk jam a flush. Alright, here's to hoping he's got king... Oh, fuck. I mean, it sucks because if he's got king jack, we would have... But king jack would have jammed. I think we just have to hope to see king queen, I guess. It is one of those hands we beat. Nice. nice spot there. Continue fragging on up. Alright, is anyone going to register making this a little bit more interesting? I don't think so. Well, this would be a good max late reg. Probably the best late reg PKO if you're like a stronger player. But it is winner take off, so you do gotta beware. Limps and then pots. Yeah. Alright, show me an 8. Bye! Three. <sighs> I mean, verse B50, we're definitely just gonna look this one up. Four. Uh, God, I don't want to get looked up here. Yalla, Habibi. Yalla. Damn, he did not fucking. He did not falter there. Alright, two friends, Jams will be playing for his bounty. If anyone else calls, we'll just fuck off. We'll find way better spots. Alright, hunting for a bounty. He's got King Queen. This is a very fair fight. That's a good flop for me. 
send the only reg out. We do it. All right, that is a huge one to win. Uh, pick up our first bounty. Pick up 200 bucks. Like three-handed now. I should be sleeping, but I feel like I need the vibe. Maybe the vibes will help you rest those eyes. All right, I think we're going to be playing a lot of pots here. I say that, and I snap and get jammed on. I mean, I'm going to play for all of it if he clicks all. I know he's just going to get it in wide, or I'm pretty sure he is. Okay, tens. That's a good one to see. Don't hurt me. Dealer, don't hurt me. Okay, straight. We can't lose. That's good. We like not being able to lose. We are heads up for all the chips in the tournaments. The big heads up. For 14 starting stacks. Okay, three. Might be getting value wrecked here. That's a tough river. Queen five, yeah. Okay, okay. We're getting, we're getting, we're downloading information here. We're downloading. I was thinking full turn, but I kind of wanted to just see it. Okay, he small three bet me and has bet flop. Okay, he checks. I'm gonna bet small and I'm gonna bet small. Show him an ace, so he doesn't attack me anymore. Man, he just always clicks the pop button. Can you imagine how fun poker must be if you just always click the pop button? I think the only reason he take, he's taking his time is because he's playing on a tablet or phone, and he's still in the 365. Honestly, I think I need to open up his table so I can see. Yeah, he just busted the other one. So now I've got his undivided intention. That was... Hmm, that was his timing. Okay, well, top pair is pretty cool. Illusory Poker with Red, welcome. All those tuning in. We're battling for a seat to day two of the $400 Colossus. This is a big f***ing pay jump difference. I mean, this is to get very many starting stacks in this one. And we're getting rolled heads up. Okay. Jesus f***ing Christ. Ace, please. Yes! Yes! He might be better than me, but he won't f***ing run better than me. Come on, no queen. Yeah! Now we, now we got him right where we wanted. He's tilted. He just busted the other tournament. He just wants to go to bed. Come on! We got him right where we wanted. I, like, I would never do this normally. I don't know. It's so weird to do this, but like, I know he's just going to call wide. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Why didn't I just not? Can I just hit an ace? Can I do it again? I, I don't know why I did this. I just assumed he would just punt and call it off. Oh! My... Oh my god! Oh, that was so hard. I just fell so hard. <laughs> fell so hard oh my back oh my god dude oh my god i did not deserve that oh i play so bad i'm so bad i'm so, I'm so bad i'm done dude all right we have a top 10 stack right now on the 400 dollar colossus that's a player room here pretty deep we only bagged one flight, and then I just played a bunch of sats to Colossus flights afterwards. I never direct bought into it after. Okay, sound the alarms. We've got a sexy bounty spot to hunt for $500 bounty. I'm all in. Cobbling calls. We are flipping for one of the biggest stacks in the tournament. Nope, just playing for a decent one versus play money's King Jack. Very fair flop, very fair. Eh. I mean, there's chop outs with the ace or a 10. Blue is bad. Nah. Unfortunate. Uh, okay, well, we have a bounty spot here. We raise. He jams for a $600 bounty. His bounty is worth. Yeah, his bounty is worth a good amount. All right, cool. I got to scamble it. Uh, no surprise, we're behind. We needed to improve. 
That is annoyingly bad. Like, not only does he flop a set, we don't have a back for flush out, and we barely have a back to a straight draw. Straight completer on the turn. Four card straight on the flop, or on the board. And I've got five in a row. <clears throat> you know what? I don't think he's going to be able to read into my B50. I'm just going to be 50 Fuck it. Board pairs. My thing is, is like, if they're a knit, like, how often do they actually stick money in with worse hands? All right. Ooh, he calls with boat blockers with the 6-4. Nice. So we did have two pair, he just didn't make a boat with it, and we get a bunch of value with our hand. Nice. Alright, we're gonna play raise here with the ace deuce. Getting a bunch of spots now. Getting a bunch of spots, situations, getting to play some hands. Small blind, three bets. Covers who here? He covers me. I think I'm gonna make a move here. Wish me luck, guys. I think I'm gonna make a move. He definitely could do, like, oh my god, massive spot, hold one time, and then call. That feels like a fake good luck. The 4-bet bluff shove gets through! Show a little heart, and sometimes it gets rewarded. Alright, so we're 29 left here in the Colossus. We take a look at the field. We're sitting 10th in chips. We're surviving. We haven't gotten any bounties day two. We had 800 to start the day. Feels looking pretty good. I think maintaining chip stack is probably a bit more important. Now, I mean, we'd call chip EV, so we're definitely calling now. All right, we're just gonna shove blind versus blind here. All in with the pocket sixes. Says good luck. I think this time he means it. Unless he's back-to-back -back faking it. I think it's back-to-back -back fakes. Now that he hasn't called already. Oh, no, he does call. Okay. We are a favorite. And we just need to fade running straights and running hearts. GG. We pick up a $1,000 bounty. No sweat. No sweat this time. No sweat this time. Up to 2 million in chips. Second in chips now. Yeah, we're going to open up the ace jack now. If abuse you jams, pretty easy call. Okay, we're gambling again. We are a favorite. Okay, no hearts. All right, just gonna fade a queen. Very, very good start to this all in. We have come out the gate firing after break. Two quick eliminations, picking up a little over $1,700 in bounties. We're tied for chip lead now. Okay. Uh, everyone snap folds. I mean, if scum jams, like, I've seen him do some wild shit for bounties. Okay, ace nine. Eight. Fair. Sure. Alright. <laughs> Alright, fair. Alright, if he jams blind response, we're gonna call. Alright, let's go. Ace five, queen eight. To rebuild the stack that we just lost. Ace high. Good game. All right, we're down to 24 now. We're down to 24. All right, we just got moved from this table. We came back. I'm really happy to get moved back here. Yeah, I'm gonna bet small on the flop here. Uh, you check calls flop, we're gonna bet the turn. And then probably shove the river. Well, now it kind of just erases any doubt on what I was gonna do here on this river. There's a small chance he check calls a flopped set. But uh, I, think, I think we just have the best hand on this river. I think I peek with a 1k bounty too, I just don't think he slow plays. 
I just don't think he finds the slow play. Oh, and he backdoors two pair. That is an absurd pot, chat. We pick up the $1,057 bounty. That is a cooler for EK Poker. I am very big chip lead now. Not very big, but I am chip lead. All right, all in here with this king. Debated induce, but I don't think final two tables with ace king off we induce. I think it's just like ace king suited and like maybe jacks. Flipping? Flipping. I need an ace or a king dealer. That is a king. That is a very high equity king. That is not a jack. Got a little worried because it's always a little pip on the side, but uh, we boom Allen. Huge one there. Now with 14 left, we pick up the $1,100 bounty. Kind of curious how he got chip lead when he doesn't play too many hands. All right. Uh, an ideal situation would be raise in one of these two jams. Although I think if he jams, I'm not like fist bump in the air. Just because he hasn't played too many hands. But it's still a very easy call with the $2,200 bounty. And only for 20 bigs. Mono in the cutoff, we'd probably check a lot if we... Didn't have at least a pair. Um, as well as, since it's 9-6 deuce, we do have a large amount of flushes still. We are not capped to having just a handful of flushes. 10 on the turn. Let me start with a check. Double barrel is interesting, because he still has 9x. I don't think he always check raises two pairs. I think it's bad. Yeah. We river a flush. We river a flush. He checks. I don't know how thin I want to go when it's second versus third in chips. I don't know what I don't. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing versus check raise. All right, we'd love to see a heart river when I was behind. Let's go. He needs an ace, ten, or queen. And I folded one of them. Jesus. That is grim for Jonah, but he is heads up in another one, so this is the way she goes. We've done it! Final table! Little elky dance. We lose Jonah there, and we make the final table. Solomon takes a healthier chip lead. We take a look at the payouts. We have locked up 2,600-ish in prize pool, 5,200 in bounties. Yeah, we're cooking. I'm going to defend, but this is a fringe spot here versus a tighter player. Don't bet big. Yes, one third. One third is a cool size to see. Ace on the turn. Bad. Because a lot of his like autopilot one third C bets are ace X related if he missed this board. Because a lot of what he raises is going to have an ace or king in it. Nah, we're going to start with the checker. The bet check bet is not a line I want to hero. Please just check. 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 <sighs> Such a fucking stupid bet. Alright, whatever. Fuck it. Whatever. So let me with the small blind call. Ten high boards are very good for small blinds calling range. Even though we have a very, very poopy hand. I'm going to start with the check. That's a great turn for me in general. We're going to bet and look to make some Broadway cards fold. Maybe some sixes, sevens, eights. Ten on the river. I think we just lose. Um, I have a Godspeed. Oh, we still called sixes on the turn? Jesus. I don't think he would have folded it. I think if he had a shorter stack, we probably could eat, make him fold some stuff there. But I don't, I don't think that ends up folding on that river. I think that talks itself into a calling, into a call. All right, play some cards here versus Solomon. Popping a king.
He bets a third. Ten of spades turn. I think a lot of his one-third flop c-bet type hands are going to end up picking up a lot of equity here. I expect to see a rather meaty bet so here on the turn. Oh, I don't think you... Alright, we're going to be clicking the call button here. Alright, I'm going to river trips. If he's got king 10, king queen, ace... Uh, you know what sucks about this is, like, he is going to value jam ace king and king queen. And I don't think he would have value jammed it if we didn't river trips. So that is something to think about. Every decision was really easy for you. Now you're on the river. Oh, I hate this because he has ace-king here like this. Sometimes king-queen. You know what's funny? If I didn't hit the king, I'd probably hear a call. I feel like on a king, I don't want to call. It's like, the, oh, I have boats. I have king-10. I have king-8. I have king-4. I have fours. I have eights. Tens. I mean, this is no different than Hero calling, like, King 5. I don't... He does have more than enough chips to then bluff and not care as much. I think if he had less chips, <clears throat> he'd be less apt to try to make me fold here. Well, break's over. Um... Ah. <sighs> Nick Airball thinks you took too long. Bro, you're a professional I... poker player playing the slowest of anyone here. It's very reasonable to ask you to play faster when 100%. you're taking time. I don't, I don't care. I took as long as I wanted to. I have, I, f I have, I start the final table. Or I started that hand with like 10 minutes of time back. I could use as much of it as I want, you know? And I advise you guys, if you guys are in a major spot, don't feel obligated to call because you feel like you took too long. You've got time bank for a fucking reason. I, I don't think I'm going to find too many situations where I'm going to actually have to use my time bank from here. Uh, fuzz jams, I th think we... Uh, I mean, we'll get honesty out of the big blind. All right, Fuzz, this is your f opportunity to double up. Okay, that's a pretty good hand to see. Good flop. That's a fair turn. He's got tens, nines, and aces. GG. We send Fuzz home there in eighth. Pick up the $1,900 bounty and accumulate a larger chip lead. Boom. All right. It's a good time to three bet considering we've applied consistent pressure versus him. And this is the benefit is when you get good hands, he's probably going to jam a little bit more versus me. Okay, I wouldn't do this theory-wise all the time. But I think he's going to be too weighted towards pairs. <clears throat> okay, don't have pocket nines, I guess. Don't have pocket nines or, like, ace-jack of clubs? I mean, I guess I need him to hero call, like... What do I need him? Like, hero call, like, eights? Hmm. Maybe we just check. He still has aces and kings. I don't think he hero calls all of his pairs anymore. If it was like a six of clubs or five of clubs, I'd jam. I don't know if he flats kings free. He'll have aces here. Checks back. I mean, if I jam, I need him to hero call tens and jacks. Does he do that? Maybe. He's got flushes. He's got kings and aces. Kings less frequently. We just target his exact range of like jacks and tens and don't expect to get bluff jammed on. I think I don't think I'm gonna get bluff jammed on here in position. <clears throat> I don't think he floated flop. I think he just rips Ace King off free, so I don't think he has like an offsuit hand. And I don't think he clicks call with like Ace King suited maybe a diamonds. That would be the one bluff. I don't think I get bluffed if I I am leaving myself open to getting owned here, so if he wants to own me, I get owned. 
I have to check where we're at on the stream. Calls with tens. Ace Jack. Oh, wow. We got a hero call from Ace High. Damn. Okay, we do not have to kill the stream. That was good because we were about to have that one pop up on stream. Okay, we flop a queen here. Sure. I don't know why I called. Oh my god. Can I get there with a king on the river, please? King? Jesus. Okay. That is not good. All right, blinds are about to go up yet again. 200,000 big blind. Everyone's going to be sub 40 big blinds to start this one. All right, let's try raising the button again. Get through small blinds. Big blind calls. We flop a straight and have a straight flush draw. That's interesting. Uh, I think because I have a straight already, let's go a bit bigger. Okay, we'll, we'll bet again. I mean, I am going to triple this one off. I think with the nine of spades, it's just a bit too much hand to think about being passive by the river. I think with my image, I think he could definitely call plenty worse. If he jams here, it's pretty yucky. I'm not gonna lie. Because he will check call some king high and queen high flushes to then rip here. Ace on the river. King queen is a better hand than me. Flushes are better hands. I do beat 9x. He wants to hero two pair. I, yeah, I just, I don't think we should be checking this one back. Don't have a flush. Oh my god, we get the hero call with ace 10. Fuck yeah, that's a, oh, that's a big one. That's a big one for the momentum. We lost the chip lead, now it's back. Now we pick up that $1,900 bounty, and now we're back to where we were before. Um, I think I'm gonna hunt here. Threes up against tens, okay. That's a three though. Can we fade the 10 and send the bad beats? We can. Down to four, picking up the $1,400 bounty. Oh, we're going to final table. We are. Four left. Chip lead. Solomon's got a cozy stack. A spike to three there. We've locked up 11100 in prize pool. We've made 10500 in bounties. Uh, still playing for that grand prize, 20000 plus bounties. Realistically, if we clean sweep this, we could probably win this for like 45k, so this is a big spot here. Our first World Series of Poker Circuit ring event on the line. Kings is a beautiful hand. Given we just showed that we raised 6-4 off. Yeah, Kings calling. He's got Ace-8 suited. Can we fade the Ace, dealer? One card to come. Fade the Ace. Boom! Let's f***ing go. Three left. Giga chip lead. Come on, baby. Both players here have locked up 15k. It's a 5k pay jump now. And we have a commanding chip lead. Alright, price poker went up. 5-3 suited, we will not ice, so. <clears throat> That's not bad. That's not bad. He bets. We're gonna call. Don't think we go anywhere with a flush draw. I'm looking for a scary river or a club. One of the two works. Club is wow, the queen of clubs too. So now I just have there's there's a lot less flush draw combos that he has here because he's not going to be having like seven x of clubs. He'll have like eight nine, ten nine of clubs, ten eight of clubs maybe, and like suited ace x of clubs. But and he's just going to have so many hands that I have to check all river. Okay, well can't use too much time bank. Oh my god. That's a bad beat. Sevens with a club, dude. That's I'm running pretty fucking hot. All right, guys, we send the scum home in third place, friend of the stream. GG. We are now heads up with a four to one chip lead. All right, <clears throat> he makes the three bigs. Let's flop some good cards here. Uh... 
How is this not rigged for me? How is this not rigged for me? What is this? What the fuck is this? What? What? How is this not fucking just insanely rigged? <laughs> Let's flop some good cards, he says. He bets into me. If he's got the ace high flush here, I'm gonna scream. The board pairs. Mate. Excuse? I guess we just go for all of it. Dog, what the fuck is that flop? This would be a way to win it, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? I pick up Jax. Okay, for the win. Ace-9, gotta fade an ace for the win. For 52,000. Alright. It couldn't have been any more insanely obvious that Team Pro had to win this one. That heads up was so gifted. 54,000, oh my fucking god. That was the most insane heads up run. I've had some wild ones. That was fing insane. $54,226.77. And we finally, finally, finally win a ring. God damn it. That felt good.